Snakes can see wavelengths of light that are invisible to us, and some can even sense the body heat of their unsuspecting prey, like this guy. But humans' eyes have some advantages over snakes. There are thousands of different snake species, but there are some commonalities in the weird ways they all see the world. Most snakes have three types of cones, or color-detecting cells in their retinas, just like humans. However, we have three cones centered at different visible wavelengths, red, green, and blue. Snakes only have two cones centered at visible wavelengths and one for ultraviolet light, so they can see shorter wavelengths that are invisible to us. Seeing ultraviolet wavelengths improves snakes' sight in low-light conditions and lets them notice differences in animals and objects that wouldn't be visible under normal, visible light. But in terms of the visible colors that we can see, snakes are colorblind. Here's what it looks like when colorblind humans only have two types of cones instead of three. Snakes have cones for blue and green, but not red, which in humans is called protanopia and would look like this. While cones let us see color, rods are another kind of cell in our retinas that let us see in low light. Different species of snakes have different proportions of rods versus cones, depending on if they're nocturnal or if they like taking care of business during the day. Nocturnal snakes tend to have slit-shaped pupils that can adjust for a lot of different light levels, while snakes that are active during the day have more round pupils, more like us. Your cat has slit-shaped pupils for the same reason, adjusting to a lot of different light levels to see well during both the night and the day. Snakes' eyes are unique in that instead of changing what they're focused on by changing the shape of the lens in their eyes, snakes move that lens in their eye back and forth to change focus. Pit vipers, like rattlesnakes and copperheads, and some pythonomorphs, like pythons and boas, also have a bonus superpower that lets them see the world very differently. Their eyes create a visual image of their surroundings, just like other snakes and humans, but they have little pits in their faces also that detect infrared light, which has longer wavelengths than the kind of light we can see. This gives them thermal vision, picking up the heat emitted from prey, even if that prey is hidden from their eyes, like if it's in grass. That makes them kind of like the predator. They can use both of these two systems simultaneously, seeing light from the ultraviolet to the infrared. Their pits are full of thousands of infrared-sensitive cells and are at least 10 times more sensitive than the best man-made infrared sensors ever created. Snakes' pits can detect temperature changes as small as 0.001 degrees Celsius. There aren't lenses in these pits focusing the light, like how eyes focus light. Instead, these pits act like little pinhole cameras. These are the simplest types of cameras, and they just use a tiny hole instead of a lens. Visible light, or in this case infrared radiation, coming in from any point of the surroundings only passes through the tiny hole and the result is an upside-down image of the world on the other side of the camera. The smaller that hole, the better the resolution of the image will be, but it'll be less bright as less light is going through. People can turn entire rooms into pinhole cameras by having only a small opening in a window to let light through. Snakes also smell the air with their tongues, picking up chemical traces in the air that let them track prey, threats, and potential mates. So the way snakes perceive the world is pretty wild. Click to watch my previous video about how the internet's favorite animal, cats, see the world.